Welcome, City Skylines players, back to Gomer Games. All right, today is uh, September 19th, I believe it is, and I am uh, going over the loading screen mod one more time, uh, just because of the new update with the uh, plazas and the uh, uh, creator packs, and also the new free update that everyone received on PC and Mac. Uh, it's kind of messed up some of the uh, mods and some of the assets and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going over the loading screen, um, the latest version, and uh, going over the loading screen mod one more time just so uh, we can correct some of our uh, saved games and obviously create some new ones. So uh, go into the workshop and download the new one, and I've got it uh, on here already. Um, it's loading screen mod revisited 0 0.6.1 uh, improves the game loading process and you want to make sure you download that. We'll go into the workshop here in a minute so you can see the uh, the icon um, on the uh, mod itself. Uh, just enable that once you get into the game and then you want to click on options here and then you want to make sure this uh, try to recover from simulation errors you want to make sure that is on I believe the default is off you want to make sure that it is on and what that does is uh, when you're loading a saved game and you have an asset missing you have a building uh, any sort of asset whatsoever missing the loading screen will go through it sees that it's missing um, if it's enabled and it's on your system it'll go ahead and uh, uh, put it into the game itself. It'll turn it on and put it into the game. If it's not on your system or it's broken, it will just basically erase it from the map. So it's no longer there. So it, that will save you an error and probably a crash um, from uh, the uh, uh, broken assets um, that are no longer compatible with the uh, with the latest update. Uh, everything else I would just leave, well, all the rest of this is default. Uh, you want to make sure all these are on because that uh, basically is the reason why you're using a loading screen. And uh, we'll go over that in a minute, but you want to leave all those on. And all this other stuff is all uh, default. I have not changed any of this. And then if you ever want to troubleshoot some assets that you're having problems with, um, this is where the uh, reports are saved. This is the directory that it's saved in. Um, so you can uh, go uh, go locate it um, and uh, go from there. All right. So what we'll do? Um, let's go ahead and load a game here, uh, just so you can see the um, load, the new loading screen. And I'm just going to pick any Wolf Creek. I'm just going to pick a map and just start a brand new game. And uh, I don't have any assets enabled right now, so you won't be able to see that, but it works just like the old one. Um, all right, this new one is great because it breaks it all down for you. Uh, this screen, this side over here, you'll start seeing the, uh, the assets, the buildings, the prefabs load here. And then you have the time elapsed, which is obviously the length of time that your game is loading. And then here is your custom assets, so any buildings that you downloaded from the workshop will load here. And then it will also tell you uh, failed and missing here. Uh, so that will be listed here, and then the colors are also the same too. So you have a, a failure, it'll be one, or however many failures you have, one, and then failed in red, and then it'll list that red one over here. Now obviously this is a continuous scroll so it's only going to be on there for so long but it will show up in that directory in that report I just showed you so you'll be able to see that um, the uh, next thing uh, it says uh, missing uh, will show up in kind of a tan color um, that will uh, also uh, show up over here and then it is a continuous scroll and then we did have some information like this on the old version, but we have a little bit more. Uh, the old version just gave us the uh, uh, page file used and um, the uh, RAM used. And I think it was the system, not the game. 
So obviously I'm using a little bit of RAM uh, doing uh, recording and uh, the page file uh, is mostly just the, uh, the mods that I have but, but it has the game RAM that's being used and then uh, the system RAM which I have 16 gig uh, right now 10.33 gig are being used and 6 of that uh, 6.29 of that uh, 10.21 is the game itself and then obviously this increases um, as uh, as the game loads and then uh, the um, page file is the system file in your computer that uh, defaults the game the uh, computer will manage that for you your operating system uh, will manage it at least on PC it defaults to uh, it senses how much RAM that you need and it will allocate empty uh, hard drive space to what's called a page file and you can use that as uh, extra RAM it allows you to run uh, programs with uh, higher higher RAM requirements than what you have on your system um, there's a little bit of restriction on that because obviously it takes the RAM is uh, static uh, it's all uh, electrical and it's instantaneous communication whereas the hard drive you know obviously it's on a disk so the disk has to spin the needle has to pick it up has to read it so it takes a little bit longer so the page system, the page file the more of the page file you have kind of the slower your system will run but it allows you to run and have access to mods that you uh, normally wouldn't have uh, normally wouldn't be able to use if uh, um, you just had the strict ram with no page file at all but like i said i would suggest there's some uh, oh some uh, People I've seen on YouTube say that uh, to turn that off and not use it at all. Others say to uh, increase the size of it to maximize your gameplay. Um, and this is for Skylines, uh, for City Skylines. And then I've heard uh, others say just leave it alone and let the system manage, which is what I do. And I've always had uh, uh, luck with it. I've never had any problems with it. I just love my operating system to handle it. Uh, that's about it. That's the new. Uh, loading screen uh, remember it's the loading screen uh, 0 0.6.1 I think it is and uh, just search for that in the uh, workshop there and um, download that uh, make sure you uh, unsubscribe from the old one and uh, the new one will work uh, stay tuned for some more videos I've been working on trying to figure out what mods were compatible with uh, this new update so you'll see a video up here shortly uh, click on that and uh, I'm going to go through some of the uh, newer uh, newer mods that are compatible with uh, the, this latest update thank you have a great day thanks for the time uh, if you get a second hit that subscribe button hit that like button and then if you do have any comments or anything uh, feel free to leave that in. and please don't forget the asset creators and the mod creators uh, most of them have uh, Patreon accounts, and if you're able to get, uh, they do work very hard at keeping this uh, up to date and uh, allowing us to have this great experience with uh, with uh, City Skylines. Thank you. Have a great day.